Hi Capricorn, I am the Awakened Dreamer and I'm here to give you guys a weekly reading for the week of August 10th to the 16th. Alrighty. And I do want to take this moment to of course thank all of my new and returning subscribers. Welcome everybody. And if you haven't yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Join this soul tribe, if you will. And all of your likes, shares, and comments are more than appreciated, so make sure you head on down below and do just that. And uh, while you're down there, you'll see all the information to um, book a personal reading with me, as well as if you have a yes or no question with the pendulum, I got you. You just gotta send me an email and we will get started on that for you. We meaning me in spirit. <laughs> and yeah, I meditate on your energy before beginning this reading. And the message that came through was, it's okay to feel. You feeling emotional lately, Capricorn? Because Spirit wants to let you know it's okay to feel, to embrace those emotions. But let's dive in deeper and find out some more for you, okay? But I do want to start off the reading by pulling a couple messages from the Oracle of the Hidden Worlds deck. What do we have for Capricorn, please? This upcoming week. Thank you, Spirit. Perfect. Perfection. I love when they make it easy. So first off, we have fairy energy, growth, expansion, a flowering. Oh, I love it. Beautiful card. I mean, the entire deck is beautiful, but... I just heard allowing yourself to grow emotionally and physically. Very interesting. And expanding your perspective about something. I feel like it's going to be a week for you to start blossoming into a healthy version of you. Okay. Very, very nice. And then we have healing the earth. Love, humility, respect. Healing those wounds, my friends. In order to allow yourself to be happy again, for some of you. Setting yourself up for success, it feels like in order to achieve the success you desire moving forward, however that pertains to you, you're going to need to heal whatever has been weighing you down. And I'm hearing give yourself the respect that you deserve, the self-respect. For some of you, setting a, a higher standard for yourself, you know, with what you accept in your life and what you allow to go on mentally. That self-worth, if you will, setting that tone for other people as well. Wow. And then we have returning home. Transition, life between lifetimes, loving welcome. I just heard transitioning into a healthier version of you, which I feel like talked a bit about with the fairy energy over here. Allowing yourself to, to open up to love again, to, to be loved for some of you. It's clearly going to be a week of healing and transformation and expansion for you. But let's continue by pulling you six, um, sorry, seven uh, tarot cards, one for each day of the upcoming week. A little bit of shuffling, of course, to get started. One more time. <laughs> Just 
struggling. All right, what do we have for Capricorn, please, for this week? Thank you, Spirit. Capricorn. I feel like you guys have been through a lot recently. But what do we have for Capricorn? Very nice. What else do we have for Capricorn, please? They were telling me to take them all. Don't mind me as I get them in the correct order as spirit um, guides me. Okay. Tell me that's good. So to start off your week on Monday, my friends, we have the Ace of Wands. I feel like your intuition is going to be on fire and on point when it comes to Monday. And I'm hearing allowing yourself to find the answers within. And I feel like it, it is harping on uh, trusting your intuition more. You know, maybe you should have trusted your intuition more in these past situations that have left you feeling like you need to heal. You know, some of the stuff you've been through, but it's like you can't change the past, of course. So all you can do moving forward is trust that gut feeling, all right? Because sometimes it's your spirit guides coming and being like, don't do that or keep moving forward, you know? And I'm also hearing it's going to be a creative week for you. Just don't get lost in your head, okay? But moving right along, we have the sun card for Tuesday. You're going to be so happy is what I'm hearing. Trusting yourself and your intuition makes you happy. I don't know if you fully realize that just yet. And you're allowing yourself to finally complete a chapter that wasn't healthy for you. That's going to be different for all of you, but it very much goes back to all this healing and transformation and expansion that's happening and needing for that self-love and respect and self-worth and all of the above okay i'm hearing you deserve to be happy and interestingly enough right next to it we have the moon card it's almost as if your happiness hit like a, a peak at, on, tu on Tuesday and then on Wednesday you took a dip all right I'm hearing you're getting in your head at this time I can relate where it's like you go from such a high high and then like something comes back from the past potentially or things feel out of balance or you get stressed or however maybe you take on too much and it gets to you it gets the best of you, you know? Some anxiety might seep in this week. But don't let it own you, okay? And if you do get a lot of anxiety, you can always reach out to me. I'm here for you, okay? I'm hearing balance is key. If you look at this card, we have the white and the black wolf on either side. Balancing all areas of your life so you don't get overwhelmed and enter this kind of state too often. But they're reminding you that you have the ability to take this and turn it into this again. I feel like it's going to be a matter of just adjusting your perspective slightly. 
And moving on to Thursday, we have the Eight of Wands. I feel like things are going to be moving at a rapid pace for you that you almost don't expect at times. But it does go back to this moon card where it's like, I know a lot is going to be going on and it's, things are going to be happening quickly, but don't let it overwhelm you. Don't get frustrated with yourself if you can't handle all that's coming your way. Okay? Have enough self-respect to be like, I need a second. Okay? I need to do some self-care real quick. Which is essential in order to regain that strength and mental clarity to keep pushing forward in a productive way. Okay? Somebody needed to hear that. Not just me. <laughs> and then on Friday, we have the Ace of Swords. I'm hearing all up in your head. All up in your head. And I feel like it, it does... There's a reason why the Ace of Wands and Ace of Swords are aligned with each other here. I feel like they're almost a joint message where it's like, it's good to trust your intuition and, and all that, but they do have this combined message of like, don't, don't let it get too far as far as getting in your head and overthinking things. Okay. It's not going to get you anywhere positive. You're just going to lead yourself to more confusion and frustration and inevitably anxiety and potentially lack of sleep. And then, up oh, to tell me to go back here. They're, they're saying, let yourself simplify things, all right? If an issue does arise throughout the week, simplify it, okay? Thinking about it over and over and over and trying to come up with all these different types of solutions is not going to be healthy for you. And you know that. I'm telling you the obvious, I feel. But just focus on simplifying the things this week. I know it may not be easy when things do move quickly. But just do your best, okay? That's all you can do. And then moving on to Saturday, we have the Hierophant. I'm hearing accept your true calling, my friends. Accept that you're meant for more. But again, it's, it's a feeling that if you don't heal and you don't allow yourself to have that mental simplicity and clarity, how are you expecting yourself to take on such a wonderful future? You know, and it may feel like it's very interesting, again, that this is aligned with the Sun card, where he's looking so happy in this Hierophant card. And, you know, the Sun card's all about happiness. But... They're reminding you that although even when you're in this happy and beautiful state, they, they love to see that spirit in the universe, but those stairs are right behind you representing the path that you're meant to go down that you may have not realized was there, or you may just be ignoring it. And if you're ignoring it, you need to acknowledge it at the very least, because the time is now for you to start moving towards it. All right. And then the Six of Swords to end your week on Sunday. I'm hearing leaving behind bad habits, old habits, overthinking things, I feel, you know, getting in your head, focusing on the past, maybe. So what we're doing here in this card, you're, by the end of the week, I feel you'll make this connection, this realization that it's time to leave this anxiety and this stress that I cause myself at times behind behind excuse me as I embark on this new chapter of my journey you're going to feel so much more free okay it, they're just reminding you with this card you know by the end of the week to when moving forward, my friends, as you're healing, put that extra baggage down. It's just going to weigh you down along the way. Okay. You don't need it. But again, going back 
to the overall message, it's okay to feel, all right? Because it's going to be a week of getting in your head a bit, but some emotions as things do pick up for you. It's clearly a week of feeling very strongly, you know, some very big highs, some very big lows. But again, going back, they want you to balance things out for yourself a bit. All right, try, try to, it's good when you get this really, this sun card and you're really happy, but try to balance things out and even things out a bit. All right. The extremes don't necessarily need to be. When you find that almost happy spot for yourself that you can maintain, that's when it's key. Okay. That's when you truly succeed mentally. But yeah, on that note, my friends, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to my wonderful channel and uh, go on down below and like this video and do leave me a comment. Let me know how this is resonating with your situation. And while you're down there, do send me an email. Let me know which personal reading you would like to book, as well as if you have a yes or no question with the pendulum. I got you. And on that note, I do hope you guys have the most amazing week and I will see you next time. Bye, Capricorn.